Let's go ahead and look at f of x is equal to x squared minus 2. So just the example that we were looking at um, in, in the interactive web page there. So here's our f of x and the derivative then of this particular function is simply 2x. Okay. So let's, let's go ahead and approximate the root of this function to let's say three decimal places. Okay. So we're going to use this function, we're going to start with a guess and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to try to get a value that is that is close to this function's root as possible. So let's come back here and take a look at this expression. Um, this is a graph of f of x equals x squared minus 2. And you'll notice that it's, this intersection is right about 1.5. Here you can see where my cursor is. That's, that's about x is 1.5. So the root here must be pretty close to 1.5. We're going to start with that as our initial guess. And the easiest way to solve and, and work with these problems is, is by making a table. Okay, so I'm going to start with my x old. We're going to work out what the f of x old is, what f prime of x old is, and what x new is. And we're going to compute now the values for for these until we get until we get fairly close. And just for the sake of our memory, I'll, I'll put our formula up here. Remember that x new is equal to x old plus, oops, rather sorry, minus x new is equal to x old minus f of x old divided by f prime of x old. And for our particular problem, remember that f of x is x squared minus 2. And f prime of x is 2x. So let's start with our first guess being 1.5. So if we plug 1.5 into our function, we get 1.5 squared minus 2. That gives us a value of 0 0.25. And the derivative, when x is 1.5, the derivative is simply going to be 3, right? 2 times x. So our x new now will be our x old, which is 1.5 minus f of x old, which is 0 0.25 divided by 3. Or our x new is 1.5 minus point two five divided by 3. That gives us a value of 1.41667. This x new, this new x value that we got will now become our old x value. We're going to do the same process, but we're going to use this point to begin with. So if we square this value and we subtract 2, if we take 1.41667 and we square it and subtract 2, we end up with 0 0.006944. Okay? That's actually the that's actually the value of the function at that point. Right? This is this is like this is like an x and a y value. And you can see that our y value is fairly close to being zero. Right? Our, our y value is fairly close. We want three decimal places, but this is this is fairly close. This is a good start. And our derivative is two times one point four one six six seven. Our derivative is two point eight three 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 four. 
So 2.83334. And that means that our new value, recall, is our old value, which was 1.41667. Minus 0 0.006944 divided by 2.83334. This will give us our new value. This is the value that we will then change our um, value into when we go to do the next round of evaluation if we find that that's necessary. When we work out this expression, we get a, a value of 1.41423. Now this should be our new old value. In other words, we're going to use this value, 1.41423. We're going to use this value to compute now a new guessing point. And to do that, we start by taking and squaring that value and subtracting 2. When we do that, you find that we are very close. We end up with 0 0.000036. And so we're actually done at this point. Um, to within the number of decimal places that, that we were requested to, to find this to three decimal places, this is the x value. This is the solution. So, so stop for a moment and look at the iterative process that we followed here. Notice that we started with a guess, and the guess was up to us to, to decide. The guess was up to us to figure out. We, we determine that based on, in this particular case, a graph of the function. Um, so we're able to then approximate this value starting from there. We looked at an iterative process of, of computing things to come up with this root. Now if we come back here and look at our um, our mathematical example here for a second. If we start at our starting point, if we start at roughly 1.5 for our guess, you can see that we actually started very, very close there. And you can see right here, you can see the values that the calculator, in this particular case a computer, computes for those approximations. So this 1.55 here, or this sorry, rather the 1.5, that was our initial guess. This is the next x value, 1.41667. You can, you can see that one in our table. And the second iteration, that was where we stopped, we ended up with roughly 1.41422. Um, ours was actually 1.41423 because of rounding, but they're very, very close. And we actually were um, we're within within three decimal places now. If we carry this calculation out on the on the computer, one one last step, you can see we end up with a value of 1.41421. And if we carry it out from from there, any further iterations, and that's all I'm doing here by changing this n value, um, changing these iterations, we end up with the same value. So in this particular case, through good guessing things converged rather rather quickly. Now notice if we had guessed a value that was farther from the root to begin with. Notice that we still would approach the root and even here the the first chosen value if we had guessed for example 5.75 the next value would have been 3.0 so on and so forth and notice that by the by the fourth or fifth iteration things would have converged pretty well and we would have the we would have the root that's one of the powerful things about Newton's method is that it allows for um, rapid conversion in most cases places where Newton's method struggles um, are other kinds of functions in particular if we take a look for a moment at the at the cosine function um, if we take a look at the cosine function, you can see that we end up with um, stranger, stranger orbits to our iteration here. And you can see that sometimes, this is, this is an example of carrying the iteration out six times, you can see that, that because of the periodic nature of the graph and the fact that it has different curvatures in different places, um, Newton's method may not be ideal here. Even after six iterations, we're still um, we're still quite a ways off from from the um, actual result, and it's taken it's taken quite a bit of work. 
Um, but this, of course, is also a factor of good guessing. Notice that our notice that our our guessing value here is about as far as possible from the um, from from a root. And as we move our value closer to a root, you can see that things converge a little bit faster. So there's definitely some art to to Newton's method. Uh, and if you are still having questions with this. We can we can take a look at the the next example that I will I will send out to you. But this is all I will show you for for now.